What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today with another video and last week guys I asked you to leave comments in my video that I made where it was the announcement for Ask Clickwood. So this is the very first episode of the Ask Clickwood series where you guys are going to ask me questions and I answer them as honestly and as brutally in some cases as I possibly can. So with that being said guys, we do have a $20 gift card to a person who will have their question answered in this video. So pay attention at the very end. I will be uh, letting you guys know who won that. And with without any more uh, waiting, I want to go ahead and get into the first question so that we don't waste any time because I'm expecting this is going to go a little bit of a while here. But our very first question, and this is probably the most common question that I was asked. So if your question was something along this lines, uh, you will be entered into potentially uh, winning the gift card at the end of the video. But Let's go on here and get into the question. So the question was from Panda Waffle HD. He asked, who or what inspired you to start making uh, videos on YouTube? And that's a good question. Uh, like I said, it was the most commonly asked question. So the person or people that inspired me to make YouTube videos. Okay, so first, I think that the biggest two people were my friends Ryan915 and London RTR. I'm sure you guys know them if you're Madden fans. Uh, they have big channels for a Madden for the Madden community. Uh, also, Chase Plays Madden is the other person. Although I didn't know Chase for quite as long as I did Ryan in London. Um, I didn't talk to Chase actually as much as I talked to Ryan in London when I was first getting involved with the YouTube scene, I guess you could say. Um, but I, I enjoyed watching their stuff even though I didn't play Madden Ultimate Team for in Madden 13 and Madden 12 or uh, in until about February in Madden 25 I didn't play any ultimate team at all I've played Madden a little bit but I didn't even own a PlayStation 4 until that point so uh, watching those guys videos and watching how much fun they were having doing videos and I was just like this is so awesome like they're in this community where they're able to talk to people who also enjoy the game that they like to play and who really like their content and they're like I said they're just having so much fun doing it so really I think that it was uh, Ryan London and Chase those three guys uh, definitely the the main three that inspired me to make YouTube videos uh, then also there was the KSI uh, Roto Shaw or, or as Harry as I call him oh Harry no that's my favorite line that he always says in his videos whenever he's getting his ass beat but he is so funny uh, KSI is hilarious those two guys that do FIFA they inspired me to do certain things like the pink slip series and uh, also just like to have like a face cam and that kind of stuff with the video uh, it just added a lot more fun to it I think so that's why I decided to do those things so I hope that answers your question uh, next question is, how long have you known London, Ryan, and the others? And by the others, I'm assuming that you mean like Chase and Josh Norton and a few of those kind of guys. Ryan and London, I've we kind of thought, we sat and thought about this for a little while earlier, and I think that it was about 2007 that we started talking. And we haven't always been the best of friends. Um, at one point, Ryan hated me because I was uh, a, an administrator on this forum called NFL Spot. And I would always end up banning him because back then Ryan was what 16, 17, something like that years old, and he was out of control. The kid was posting porn. He was doing. He was saying all kinds of repulsive things into the uh, forum, and somebody had to step in and uh, make that so that that wasn't happening. So I was banning him or suspending his account, and I was always. You can ask him to this day. I was always like overly, you know allowing of him to do things i would say okay ryan please don't do this please don't post that kind of stuff and then he would and i would be like okay i could ban you right now or i could suspend you and then hopefully you learn your lesson and eventually he did learn his lesson he grew up uh london was never quite like that london i never had a problem with i was always cool with him but i remember ryan uh at one point was like trying to find out my personal information so that he could post it on the forum and stuff but all of that is way in the past now. We're good friends. We talk almost every single day. Ryan's a good dude. Uh, London is obviously a great dude as well. Uh, Chase, I've known for, like I said, not quite as long as Ryan in London, but uh, I've known him for probably six or seven years as well. And, you know, all those guys are great guys. I really do like all of them. Uh, Josh, I haven't known for nearly as long as those guys, but probably still like two and a half, three years at this point. So we've been talking uh, pretty regularly for a good amount of time now. So I hope that answers that question for you. Next, hey, Clickwood, 
what is your favorite NFL player? And this is from NON Clan. Uh, okay, so when you ask my favorite NFL player, I'm assuming that you mean current player. And by current, in terms of the current players, I think that my top two are number one, Calvin Johnson, and then number two, Tom Brady. I think uh, you guys have seen me wear this hat from time to time. This is a TB12 hat, and this is actually a custom Tom Brady hat. So this is something that he wears, and I actually had to have this custom made and uh, reset this uh, in Illustrator to actually be like a vector so that they could embroider it onto a hat. That's how much I like Tom Brady. He is definitely one of my favorite players. Uh, I love that logo too. It's such a badass logo. So you can't find that hat anywhere. It's not in stores. You have to like custom make it. But I, like I said, I loved it. My wife got it made for me uh, probably like two Christmases or so ago. So yeah, Calvin Johnson, Tom Brady. My favorite player of all time is Emmett Smith. Yes, he's the person that got me to like the Dallas Cowboys in the first place, so he is definitely my favorite player of all time. Next question. Uh, this is from my friend Make It Wayne. You guys, if you haven't been over to his channel, definitely go over and check out his channel. Again, it's Make It Wayne. He is an awesome YouTuber. He's growing and a good friend of mine. He's a, He's been a longtime subscriber since I first started this channel, so definitely go check him out. But I actually like the question. It had nothing to do with uh, that he that he was a, uh, a fan of mine or a, a longtime sub or that I wanted to promote his channel. I actually really did just like this question, which was, what made you become a, or want to become a graphic? graphic designer as a kid. So I am a graphic designer for a living. Yes, I do do graphic design, web design work, uh, technically speaking. But um, the thing that made me want to do it is actually uh, back in the day in like, what was it? Probably the, I guess <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, probably like the early 2000s, maybe like 2000 to like 2003 or so. Um, I was in high school or just in junior high into high school. And a lot of people were starting to do graphic design stuff on the internet, like, you know, non-professionals. They were starting to create things that were, you know, like wallpapers or, you know, that kind of stuff. And I was just blown away by what these guys were doing. I know that there were like professional designers that did it for a living, but it was like your average person could pick up this program called Adobe Photoshop and learn how to use it. And back in the day, man, my stuff was so bad. It was just awful. It was it was the most over filtered, like ridiculous lightning bolts going through it stuff. But then I started to learn how to do it. I started to learn how to do things more simplistically and also just like learn your basic design concepts of, you know, space and, um, you know, what types of fonts to use and, you know, what colors to use, what effects to use, if any. And uh, that just really got me excited about it. And as I started to do that, when I was like 15, 16, 17 years old, I really realized that I was having a lot of fun doing it. I took a graphic design class in high school and I ended up by the end of the semester, I was basically teaching the class because my teacher, um, he knew a lot about computers, but he really didn't know much about design. So what I was doing is actually creating basically the, uh, the class platform or whatever you'd call it uh, for everybody else. And I would go in and once a week, I would actually teach them how to do a specific thing in Photoshop and I, a lot of people really liked it. I got really like a lot of confidence in myself uh, to be able to actually do uh, work with graphic design. And then I decided once I was done with uh, high school to move on to college, go get my associate's degree, which is a two year degree in graphic design. Uh, and you know, I could have gotten a four year degree, but I hate school. I absolutely could not stand going to school. It was just miserable always. And it wasn't because I wasn't like the popular kid. I was never super popular, but I wasn't like picked on or anything like that. I just, I hate going to school. It seems like such a big waste of time. Homework is complete BS. I hate it. Um, so uh, that's basically what made me want to do graphic design though, is back in the day, seeing other people do cool stuff on the internet. And what's funny is a lot of it had to do with pro wrestling, uh, versus NFL stuff, which is mostly what you see me doing now, at least on YouTube. Uh, so next question we have from Patrick Wilhelm, and I apologize if I botched your name there, but your question is, what are you going to name your baby? So for those of you who don't know, my wife is about nine months and a few weeks pregnant. We are due September 6th. So in about a week, I am due to have my first baby. And uh, it's a crazy life-changing experience, but we are both very, very excited for it. And it's going to be a girl. We already know that. Uh, and we are going to name her Madeline Joy. So uh, the Madeline, I don't really know where my wife got that from, but she really liked the name. And then Joy is actually both uh, my mom and my sister's middle name. Oh, and as well as my grandma. So it's going to be basically four generation of girls in our family that have the middle name Joy. So it's just kind of a, an ongoing tradition, I guess you could say. So yeah, Madeline Joy is the answer to that question. 
Uh, let's see here. Next question. <laughs> this one made me laugh, by the way. How do, did your parents feel about you doing YouTube as a job? Okay, so a few things about this. Uh, as I answered before uh, in a previous question, I do a graphic design or web design for a living. I do not do YouTube for a living. <laughs> uh, if I could do YouTube for a living, that would be pretty cool, but my channel is not anywhere near that level. There's guys like, you know, Cullenberger and Anto and, uh, you know, guys that are at that level. Those are the kind of guys that are at that point where they can actually do YouTube for a living. I am not anywhere near that point at this point in time. I'm a, a tenth of the size of those channels. But there are people that, uh, you know, want to see me do more YouTube. YouTube, and I would love to do that uh, in the coming months and over the next couple of years here, grow my channel to the point where it can be maybe a secondary income for me. But like I said, that's not my goal. I don't want to do YouTube for a living uh, unless for some reason it, my channel just were to explode and you know I'm, I, I wouldn't be able to turn down the, the financial incentive of being able to do YouTube for a living. That would be the only way that I would do it. Otherwise, I just like doing it for fun. Um, I try to put out as much content as I can. The other part of your question, how did my parents feel about it? Well, I'm 28 years old, so my parents don't really uh, run my life at this point in time. Uh, I didn't run it by them before I decided to make a YouTube channel. Uh, if you are planning on making a YouTube channel and you are under the age of 18, I would recommend that you ask your parents about it because they might have some pretty strong opinions about it. They might not want you to have your face on the internet uh, posting videos and content like that and potentially giving away personal information about yourself. But at this point, for me, doing YouTube is just for fun. Like I said, I'm not really, uh, it's not a job or anything like that. I don't, like I said, I don't have to ask my parents. My wife is cool with it. She enjoys uh, that I have some fun hobbies outside of annoying her so that's pretty much the incentive for her for me to do YouTube next question uh, what is your dream job and this is from James 152428 so James thanks for the question I, I enjoyed this one my dream job is something that I can almost guarantee no one would guess my dream job is actually to work for a pro wrestling company and this has been my dream job for since I was probably about 14 years old. So about half my life at this point, this has been my dream job. And that is actually to be a writer or a booker of some sort. And if you don't know what that means, so basically, as, as we all know, pro wrestling is fake or scripted anyway, at least. So we know that uh, the outcomes are predetermined and, you know, the stuff that they do on the show by and large is scripted there's some things that are off the cuff and and uh, the the guys do innovate things that they say and stuff like that but for the most part they go out there and they the writers will tell them okay here's what we want to do to advance this storyline we want to get from point a to point b and i would love to do something like that i think that i would be very good at it i've been a big fan of pro wrestling for most of my life uh it's always been a, a big thing for me to watch pro wrestling and really pay attention to the way that they develop the chemistry between the, the different opponents or the ongoing storylines, the undertones, uh, the way that they work their storylines into their matches, all those type of things. I just think it would be such an amazing job. It would be so fun. The only big negative of it would be that I would be on the road probably 300 days a year. So at this point, I don't think that it's a realistic job for me, especially considering that I've got the baby coming up and I'm, but I am married and uh, it's just probably not going to happen for me at this point. But you know, like I said, if, if I could have any dream job pie in the sky, it would be amazing to be able to sit at home, watch the product and, uh, you know, input my thoughts into what they're doing on screen, occasionally show up at events here or there. That would be the most amazing dream job that I could think of. Next question. If you could play anyone in the world at Madden, who would it be? Great question again. And this is from Ever Gecko. So I thought about this one quite a bit before I made this video. And I, I was thinking, you know, okay, anyone ever, because it, it doesn't say any point in time. So if I could play anyone, it would be cool to play, you know, like people from the past and, um, you know, different, like a, um, a historical figure or, you know, something like that. It would be kind of fun to play against them and just like, not even necessarily because of like the football aspect, but just to like meet them, I guess, or, you know, play against an NFL player that's currently playing right now who might know something about football, like, you know, Cam Newton, for example, that would be pretty cool. Cause it sounds like he's into Madden. He was in uh, there for that Madden tournament that they did down in Orlando a couple of weeks ago. Um, 
But in the end, I decided to go with somebody that I think would benefit me a little bit more. Uh, you guys asked a little bit earlier before about, you know, what do I think about you know YouTube being my career or something along those lines. Some of you asked that or, you know, a variance of that anyway. Well, one way that YouTube could probably be my career is if I played PewDiePie in a game of Madden. Because one game against PewDiePie, if he uploaded that to his channel, I uploaded it to my channel. Uh, I guarantee you that would exponentially grow my channel. I would probably double the size of my channel, triple, quadruple it in like a, a week. So that would be amazing. I think that that would probably be the best thing that I could possibly do to grow my channel, uh, be in a PewDiePie video. I know that sounds pathetic, but let's be completely honest here. If you're trying to grow your channel, you need to have that kind of a shout out. You need to get those, uh, those views from people who would never otherwise stumble upon your channel. So that would probably be my number one. Next one, what does Clickwood mean? And this was probably the second most common question that I got, and it's a very common question. People ask me it in almost all of my videos. Someone will ask me. Okay, so here's the thing. Clickwood is a word that I created, and I created it 2000, 2001 maybe? Uh, and you can actually go back and find records of me posting on message boards and forums and uh, all kinds of different things all the way back from 2001. And yes, I, that has been my username the entire time. It's always been my username on Xbox Live. It's always been my username on PS3. K-L-I-Q-U-I-D. That's it. No spaces, no numbers, no underscores, anything like that. Just click with on everything. Now, what click with actually means is it's another pro wrestling thing. Okay, so... In the mid to late 90s, uh, I guess was it late 90s? Yeah, somewhere in that range. Anyway, there was a uh, there was a group of backstage uh, wrestlers, and it was basically Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and that was this was in w WWF. Uh, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, for those of you who don't know, are Razor Ramon and Diesel in the WWF, but they were known as the Click. K-L-I-Q. That's what they refer to themselves as. And that's what other people in the backstage of pro wrestling uh, world refer to them as well. And I always thought that was such a cool, you know, group or whatever. And then the word liquid, I, I don't know why. I, I think that that's the coolest sounding word that there is in the English language. Just say it. Liquid. Like, it just sounds epic. So I, for whatever reason, I always really loved the way that that sounded, and I liked the click. So what I decided to do is combine those two words and create a username from it, Clickwood. So I don't know, it doesn't really mean anything specifically. It's just two words combined that I thought were cool. So I hope that that answers that question. Next question, we've got two more left. So this one is from Ghost Sucks, and I assume that this is about Call of Duty Ghosts, your username. So I pretty much agree, Call of Duty Ghosts is pretty much a piece of crap. But your question is, what is the happiest moment of your life so far? And this is a great question, and this is gonna sound so cheesy because uh, it, it almost sounds like I have a, my wife's over here standing here with a gun to my head. But no, in all reality, the happiest moment of my life so far has been when she and I got married, which happened about three years ago and what, three years ago and about a month. Um, so we were married and we had all of our friends and family there and it was just an amazing time. Um, pretty much everybody that I really care about in the world was there at that point in time. And that was such an amazing moment because it was like, it truly was like two worlds combined. Um, and it, it was something that we'll never be able to replicate, I don't think, ever again. But it, it was such a great night. We had so much fun. Everything went great. Um, it, it looked like it was going to rain all day. And then it held off until after our ceremony. So that was amazing as well because we did have an outdoor wedding. But um, yeah, so it was, uh, it was an amazing day. And that really was the happiest moment of my life. At, uh, up until this point anyway. So guys, um, with that being said, I hope that that answers all of the questions. Uh, I thought that I had another one, but I guess I didn't. But um, I think that the last thing that I wanted to say there with that, that last question was that in the next, next couple of days here, I, that happiest moment of my life may very well be surpassed with the birth of my daughter. Um, I, I've never really wanted a baby until she, my wife told me that she was pregnant and then we were both very happy about that. Um, but, you know, throughout this whole pregnancy, up, up until about a month ago, I've been almost dreading it in a way. And I hate to say that, but I've been like, oh, I'm going to have this baby that I have to take care of forever now. Like, you know, this is, this is a never-ending thing. The more as I've sat and thought about it, it's like, 
it's just one of those things that you will never be able to experience anything like it. Um, and it, I'm, I'm excited for it. As, as I feel my wife's stomach and the baby like kicks or moves, you get this like weird feeling inside of you that you would never expect. I would have never expected myself to have that kind of a feeling, but I really, really do. I'm excited for her to be here in person, for me to be able to hold her and all those type of things. So that honestly could take over as the happiest moment in my life, it probably will. But you know, that marriage, the day that we got married was also an amazing day in, in my life as well. So um, that said guys, uh, we did. I did pick a winner of the, um, the, the question. And that, like I said, it was chosen based off of uh, all the people who submitted a question that were very, very similar to one another. So like the first one with the YouTube inspiration, there were like 30 of you that asked that question. So all of you were entered into potentially winning the $20 gift card, but the person who actually did win it was this person here. And this was Brian Walter. He is the winner. He asked me, uh, what do your parents feel about you doing YouTube as a job? So he is the winner of the $20 PlayStation or Microsoft gift card. Congratulations to you. I will be contacting you via YouTube message, so pay attention to that. And like I said, uh, I will be contacting you about whether you want a Microsoft point or a PlayStation dollar gift card thing. So uh, be, be on the lookout for that. Congratulations to you again. Thank you to everybody who submitted questions. I will be doing another one of these down the road. So if you have any questions that you wanna ask me or if you have any things that you want me to go more in depth about, make sure you leave those in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. I hope that you learned a little bit about me. I hope that we connected better as an audience. Thank you guys so much again for all the support that you've given to me. Uh, we passed 10,000 subscribers a couple of weeks ago. We're closing in on 11,000. Madden 15 is out, and I know I haven't done any Madden content, but I promise you, in the next day or so, I will have my Madden 15 content out. I will be doing an updated budget series for Madden 15 as well. So be on the lookout for that. I know you guys really like that, so I will be doing that again this year. And I will probably actually do it a couple times throughout the year as well, so that when better cards come out and, and these original cards start to drop a little bit, and price, we might be able to actually work them into the budget as well. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate it. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.